Hi, this is Josh Ellsworth with imprintables.com and joshellsworth.com. Today we're going to go over the process of contour cutting an opaque transfer paper, a printed image on an opaque transfer paper using the Roland GX24 vinyl cutter. Right now you're looking at the Roland Cut Studio software that comes with the Roland GX24 cutter. Uh, this particular software has the ability to import uh, JPEGs and bitmaps into the program so you can import your photo quality image uh, and run a trace on it which is what we're going to do now. First thing I'm going to do is go up to the import command and I'm going to go ahead and pick a file that I have on my PC here. Let's shrink that down to a size where you can see it and go into properties and let's just type in six inches wide and it'll size the height proportionally. Move this down to where you can see it. First thing I'm going to do, I need to go to the print and cut mode on the Roll and Cut Studio software. So I'm going to go to File and go to Print and Cut. It automatically pops up registration points on the computer, uh, which I'll show you how these work later. But that's what it did when I went into print and cut mode. So I center my graphic on my page or create multiples of the graphic if I would like. This uh, page size is signifying 8.5 by 11 uh, paper size that I'll be using in the opaque transfer paper. To create the vector artwork, right now we're looking at the printed image, so to create the actual vector outline I'm going to go to Object, Image Outline, and it's going to bring up the Image Outline wizard. Right now it's showing me all the areas in black around that is where I'm going to get my contour cut line where it's going to trace. So right now as it sits, it's going to cut the inside cavity out of the Superman design where the yellow portion is. I'm going to darken up the density using this uh, image density filter. And that will allow it to, to trace just the outline, which is what I want. Then I'll click Extract Contour Lines. Click OK. The blue line that you see there is the, uh, the image outline that was just done. Let's see if I can zoom in and get that the outline around the Superman logo that's the actual vector art that we're going to be working with um, so this is the particular file that I'm going to send to the printer and also send to the cutter so let's go ahead and start that I'm just going to go to file print I have it set up for my printer I'm just going to click OK and it's going to come off the printer hopefully over here And you all know how a document prints, so we'll come back after it's printed off to show you the next step. Okay, now that we're over at the Roland GX24 vinyl cutter, I'm going to show you the actual uh, document that's been printed here. As you can see, there are uh, registration points that have been printed um, right here and right here, just these black dots, and also one right here. That was all, those were the marks that I showed you in the software. That's going to allow the cutter. Um, it's going to read those registration points and know and identify where your image is so it can trim exactly around that. Um, in order to, to read these registration points, what I'm going to do, yeah, let's adjust the camera so I can get a better angle here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and load a sheet into the cutter underneath these pinch rollers. There's one here and one here, which these are fully adjustable from side to side. Um, You'll load those down. I'm going to load my sheet in and line this groove up. There's a line on the cutter here I can line the, uh, the paper up to. So I load that in. And there's a lever in the back of the cutter that locks down the rollers. After that's lined up, I'm going to tilt you over to the, uh, take a look at the control board here on the Roland GX24. It asks me to select roll or sheet as the option. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the down arrow key and specify piece and press enter on the control board. What that's going to do, it's going to bring the cutter head over and it's going to read the size of the sheet that you have in the cutter. Okay. Once it does that, you're actually ready to go over to the computer and send the file over. Um, so just hang tight here, I'm going to go send the file over and you'll be able to see the uh, 
laser sensor, I'm going to try to get a good shot of it, actually come out and start to read those registration points. So I'm just going over to the, the computer, I'm hitting the, the cutting button and sending the same file that we looked at earlier to cut to the Roland GX24. Now the laser there that you see is actually researching where those crop mark, marks are. If you can see that, it'll search those two points. And it's going to go back and search the backmost point. And then you're going to see it cut really quickly. This is cutting the excess away from the opaque paper. Okay, once that's finished, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the sheet. And I'm going to peel away this, uh, I can actually peel away my image with this design. I'm just going to peel my image away from the outline border. Um, normally if I transfer this whole thing over, this whole sheet of white would transfer over to the garment, creating a box that you obviously wouldn't want on your garments, or you would have to manually trim this with scissors. Um, with this, now I've cut my print out, and I can just lay this on the garment and heat apply. As I showed you earlier, when you're um, sliding the density bar, we could have programmed the cutter to cut inside here if we wanted to um, cut out the yellow areas. That way the, the shirt would show through the, the parts of the design that we did not want the shirt color would show through. Um, so let's go ahead and heat press this down so I can show you how that works. Okay, now that we're over on the heat press with this particular um, transfer paper, this opaque transfer paper, what I'm going to do is I've already preheated my garment, which just locked the press down, preheat the garment. Then I'm going to lay my design down exactly how I want, face up. There's a piece of uh, parchment paper that comes in your pack of transfer paper. I'm going to position that over top and then also cover that with a Teflon sheet, which is just a protective cover sheet. And let's go ahead and lock that down. This particular dwell time is 30 seconds, so uh, we'll come back to show you the finished result to uh, wrap it up. Okay, here's what your finished garment looked like after it came off the heat press. Now this is a, a very basic uh, design and a very basic cut, but as I stated earlier, you can get pretty intricate with detail. Also print full color text, trim around that. Um, with that particular process, um, if there are separate pieces to the design that can't be peeled up all in one layer like the Superman design was, then what you would do is you would um, weed away the excess material and use a masking sheet to lay down. It would pick up your image all as one piece and then heat press it down. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and gained a better understanding for what the Roland GX24 can bring to your business and also the process of using the inkjet paper for dark garments uh, to apply to t-shirts. Thanks.